Taurus, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my channel. As usual, Pisces Spirit Moon. And if you are a returning soul, welcome back. Okay. All right. Taurus, this will be a general reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So if you have Taurus in any of those placements in your chart, this should just about be the reading for you. Okay. Uh, keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they're general. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't try to force or fit anything. Don't go manifesting what is not meant for you. Like I said, also my time, my readings are timeless. So the best time for you to watch them is whenever you, you come across them or if the title catches your attention. But it's important to check your placement, see what other signs you have in those placements, okay? Don't just uh, focus on your sun sign. You might want to check out the other signs that I read for, depending on the ones that you have on your on your placements. Maybe your messages come from there, okay? Please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. And I do like to hear feedback from my viewers. Last but not least, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, Or if you would like to make a kind donation and support my channel through those means, all the info is in the description box down below. It's the only way that you can contact me. And I do not reach out to anyone offering my services. So please be careful. One more Taurus. I'm sorry about that, but I have to feel it. Okay, Taurus, the energy at uh, the starting energy, with the energies you're dealing with or will be dealing with soon, the heart of the matter. Ten of Wands, okay. Mm -hmm. A little overloaded here, maybe stress. Uh, it's, tired of carrying this with us. Christ Almighty. It's been, it seems that it has been blocking you for quite some time already. I mean, I feel that the time is now. It's time to drop these burdens. Why are you still carrying them? I have a sense that something or someone made you feel obligated to carry this stress or this burdens with you for no apparent reason. This could be some type of even a childhood trauma. Okay, give me a second, okay? The energy that's crossing and could be challenging you. This could be a block, it's just the Eight of Pentacles. You're having a hard time, you know? Focusing on your work, manifesting, doing the things that you wish you would like to do. I have a sense that even some of you, when you do things, they don't even turn out as well as you would like them to be because, because this energy is interfering and it's constantly there. It doesn't let you even work the way you would like to. Maybe even with the quality or the craftsmanship that you would like to have, you know. Because sometimes it's like this cloud, invaded by this cloud that, you know, 
just can't really focus the way you wish you could. Yeah, that's what it is. You can't focus. And this is like in anything that you try to do. That's confirmation because I'm in the privacy of my own home and there's nobody upstairs. <laughs> Taurus, the energy that's crowning in your conscious mind, you do see somehow clearly. And it's even like a wish. It's constantly in your mind. It's your conscious mind. The Four of Swords, you know. You just wish you could relax and put your mind at ease. And to be able to contemplate, meditate in a very peaceful manner and to somehow get that clarity that you're trying to seek. That's what those three swords are. They're divine messages from. So that then you can rise and take that fourth sword with you. It's that sort of clarity and wisdom. It's you wish you could, you want, or it's your intention, you want to forge that sword. With more understanding about the situation that you're in right now, why you are caring with this, and why it seems to be attached to you or you to it. Okay. It's time for you to drop it. And I get a sense that you don't know how or it gives you some type of security or comfort. Taurus, the energy is below you. It's in your subconscious mind. You don't see clearly and you should because it's what the divine spirit or the universe would like you to focus more on or even your higher self. It's the hermit, the strong Virgo energy. Taurus, you are being asked to let yourself be guided fearlessly with wisdom by your inner light. Don't be afraid of whatever it is that you have to go through. Do it, but you're going to have to really look deep within and seek some serious answers so you can understand why and how why you're attached to this and how to get rid of it. it's like a fly the fly you know pigeons have a fly under the, their wing and when they fly from a building the fly separates from them and that fly has, uh, it's, it's a big fly. It's not like your common house fly. And uh, the pigeon, once it lands somewhere else, the fly can trace the pigeon miles so far because it detects by the smell. I learned that because uh, when I was holding a pigeon, someone told me, you better wash your hands well because if not, you're gonna get that fly it's going to be really hard for you to get rid of it. <laughs> and that's pretty much what's happening. This, this energy is sticking to you like this fly. And you don't know how to get rid of it. All right, Taurus. The energy that's behind you. 
for someone, it could be a recent past, but this is what could have happened for you to go through this, or maybe it's the energy that's pushing. Absolutely. It's that fourth sword that I was telling you, you're forging with those three swords. It's this, you know, wanting this understanding, this clarity to set yourself free from this burden. You're seeking this sword. You're wanting this sword to come in. This big aha moment, a clarity and understanding of how to get rid of this, why you're carrying with it still. This is the energy that's in front of you, where you're headed to, or what is coming towards you, for some of, well, near future for some of you, okay? It's the Four of Cups. I have Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. I get this energy of you, you know, it's, it's, I think you're tired of seeing things not manifesting the way you wish they would. And I think you're going to start releasing this energy. Dropping this burdens it's it's gonna be done by learning to express some form of gratitude for the things that's what it is. You have to you have to start focusing on only what has truly worked out for you. And it doesn't matter if it's only one or two or as few as they may seem. If you're only, only focusing on the bad things, you're never gonna see those positive things in your life. But if you start really seeing what has truly worked out for you, I think that's gonna change things for you here. And to start expressing gratitude for those insignificant things in your life. And then you're going to be able to start dropping this burden because I have a sense that something or someone when you were a child started making you feel like you weren't good enough, that everything that you did was just not good enough. Probably even made you feel like you were a burden yourself, you know? And that's what you're going to have to fix here. This is how you see yourself, how you're responding to the situation, or maybe how you should respond to the situation. Seven of Swords, okay? Now this card is a very tricky card. It always gets a, usually always gets a bad rap, but it doesn't have to, okay? This is always about sneaky behavior and dumb shit happening behind your back and you not being aware about it or you being sneaky and, you know? No, I have a sense that actually this is you Starting to take some calculated steps and understanding. Picking up these swords, which is knowledge and clarity. And trying to understand, that's where that 
calculated steps are coming in. It's trying to understand the situation, why you are like this all this time. And it's understanding that you have been self-sabotaging yourself, okay? After all, you have been self-sabotaging yourself. But you're going to be understanding or you're starting to understand that already. Okay. This is the energy that's surrounding you and it's influencing you. Yeah. It's the sun, strong Leo energy. Okay. This is what's influencing you. It's, 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 Part of the push. You want this happiness. You want this clarity. You want this understanding. A second chance for some of you. A new, a new fresh start again, please. That's what I hear. Give me one more chance, please. I want to be free and to be able to to unblock this, which is part of my blessings. In your hopes and fears, this is what I love to, it's the moon, strong Piscean energy. So you see, we have the sun in your environment, but in your hopes and fears, what's ruling your mind mostly, it's all this fear, this insecurity, this self-doubt, not being able to see things with clarity, not understanding the situation. Why am I in this situation? Always, you know, it's a very Piscean energy and very, it can be very negative. Okay. It depends, but this is what sometimes makes us think, relax the mind and go deep within. Okay, this is where Pisces do most of the magic, but it's a very scary place to be. Okay, and I understand, but it's only in your mind, it's hopes and fears, it's our illusions, it's not seeing things clearly. Focus on meditating. I think it's very important that you meditate and try to get your mind as clear as possible so that these messages do come in and help you set yourself free from this god it's karmic i know it's karmic these ten of wands are karmic it's, it's so heavy it's so clouded you're so clouded by it Outcome or advice, which I usually take more as advice, is the Queen of Wands. And I think it's both outcome and advice. You're going to be able to sit like this beautiful Queen of Wands and enjoy, start enjoying life and the mystery and magic. Okay, remember that cat's name is mystery. It's your pet. Cherish it, take care of it, love it. Okay, don't be afraid of mystery. That's so why you have that moon there in your in your hopes and fears. And this is also telling me, the strong Leo energy, by the way, that um, don't let anything make you bitter. Okay? It's very important. That's part of the advice. And enjoy enjoy the mystery. Even if you can't see things clearly. Let things flow for you don't try to force things maybe sometimes you do work too hard and it's a burden for you okay bottom of the deck judgment it's karmic it's time for you to set yourself free from this you have to understand that this isn't part of you. 
what you've been carrying with you, it's not part of you. It has to be released. And it is, for some of you, a comfort zone. It has to be left behind. Do you see how they're st stepping out of their tombs? They're naked. They're accepting to be vulnerable by leaving this behind and answering to the higher calling. It's karmic. Additional advice. There you are, Taurus. And then we'll close your reading with an oracle message from the Spirit of the Animals. Deck. What else would you like to tell Taurus, please? What else do they need to know regarding the situation, please? Thank you. Strength, Leo energy. We have a lot of Leos. Some of you might have some Leo here. Okay. Now you see that line? Once you understand your fears, because that line is your fears and your insecurities. Once you cherish it, you pet it, you love it, you feed it. You're going to notice that it's just going to be that little black cat. It's not as bad as you think it is. Okay? And you're going to name it Mystery. Okay? Embrace the mystery. Be courageous. Don't fear. Okay? Whatever you fear, it's only up here. Okay? Ten of Pentacles, you're headed that way. Once you release all this karmic, Wait. Ten of Wands is going to turn into a Ten of Pentacles. Once you get this clarity and understanding of why you've been carrying this with you. Okay. Taurus, let's close your reading. Remember this message may or may not come from a spirit animal or a spirit guy or but it may come from an animal that you feel very connected to. You dream with very often, you see sometimes, or it simply catches your attention. So take it as it resonates, okay? the raven, a shaman. That's a spirit animal right there. The raven is telling you that you are the creator and the magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Through the void. That's fearlessly. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries, you see? Don't be afraid and embrace that mystery. That's why I love tarot. Okay. Taurus, I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance that you are seeking at this moment of your life. If you enjoy it, if it does help you somehow, please do click the like button and leave a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. Taurus, I hope to see you next time. And as usual, please stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye, Taurus.